Hello from our Nile cruise ship. Now, I'm sure you're wondering why am I on a cruise boat because I know you know what how I feel about cruise ships. I'm not really in favor of them, but I make an exception for the Nile because this is the best way to see Egypt. It's so comfortable in a funky, weird way. And so I just wanted to show you a little bit about the cruise ship. I'm gonna walk you through here and kind of show you what it looks like, what my room looks like, so that you kind of understand what we're doing. Hoda, of course, as always, is here with me. <laughs> Hi everyone, happy to see you and would love to see everyone coming to Egypt and enjoying the mighty river, one of the longest rivers in the world. Um, you can imagine yourself just cruising in the Nile and, and all of a sudden when you've got the Nile, you've got the ancient ruins. If you look just over there, you see the ruins of the ancient temples. And quite a see, see like just over there. This is crazy. The yeah, that, yeah. That's a temple. That's a temple. That's a little tiny temple that was used by the workers because here we have what we call Gabal Salsela or the sandstone quarries. So the workers that used to work here cutting the stones that would be used for building the temple got to worship and practice the religion. So these little temples here were done by the banks of the river Nile so people could practice. Imagine just sitting in your cabin, your windows open, and you enjoy the greenery, the desert, the mountains. And if you look up there, you will see the felucca, that which is like the sailing boats in the River Nile. Let's go the over there. Nile cruises, the fancy dahabia. The fancy dahabia is what you can see over there. It's more of a style of. Oh, the thing with the yeah, sail. That's the dahabia. That, okay. That's dahabia. This is like the the high top end of cruising down the river. Okay, so if you guys look, I'm gonna point right now my finger, where's my finger, here it is. This is the kind of boat we're on right here. The, and they're the in the four the stories one. and they have about 100 passengers, maybe 150. And then this one here is what she's talking about, the Habia. And this has maximum 20 passengers yeah, probably. Yeah, 16 maximum. 16, 16 maximum, yes. and they're luxury. Yeah, yeah. So, and, but if you're on one of those, you can kind of go where you want, whereas these big ones are more like packaged cruises where you go to the same, everybody goes to the same places. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Except for the Dahabeya, maybe, because it's been longer time, so they can hop off the Dahabeya, go and explore the little villages, and go and see the tiny little temples by the side of the river as well. Okay. Yeah. And, okay, so let's go into the shade. What I wanted you to tell us about is the Faluka over here, which is coming up. So tell me about this ship. What are, what are these? Actually, this is like a traditional sailing boat that has been used by um, Egyptians for centuries and, and centuries. And let me tell you that some of the people who like to uh, travel and they are on budget or um, they are more adventurous, they hire one of those felucas and they go sailing for one or two days where they just sleep on the deck of the felucca and they have their chef and their sailors. and. They so sleep like on the deck? A, they do sleep on the deck. They have, and some of the bigger size felucas, um, they even have their own little tiny toilets, the washrooms that people can uh, can just use. You see that the, there's a cobble on this little feluca over there. And they sail, they mainly depend on the night, on the wind of the, uh, on the wind. So if they're lucky, they have a good wind. If the wind is too little, they cannot go. If it's too uh, strong, they cannot go as well. But it's nice, relaxing, adventurous sort of traveling as well. Oh, and they can stop anywhere they want on the banks of the Nile too, so they can go places other people can't. So is this another felucca here, this one? That's another felucca. That's well. another one, okay. And I, this is the one that got the toilet on board. Okay. <laughs> this, is like big area. this is like something new, like people that used to come to Egypt like 20 years ago and they go on a felucca that was really rough. Yeah. Had no toilets and that was challenging. But all, most of the new feluccas, they do have uh, uh, the uh, toilet on board that makes the, new, the whole experience um, different and you can just you don't have to be sleep overnight on a felucca you can just come and do it for a couple of hours yeah or, which we're going to do yes, that's yeah, it's part of our tour, tour yeah. Yeah. yeah so here we have that more luxury one as we pass by you guys can have a look and Hoda and I are actually kind of eyeing these because we're thinking about doing another uh, Egypt itinerary that would be more boutique. It would be a lot more expensive, but we would do some of these kind of more boutique-y things. Uh, we're, we're thinking about it, but look at that. That's cool. So this has not that many staterooms. What does it have? Maybe eight? Uh, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Seven, and then they've got the open top terrace there as well, which looks like that's their dining room, right? Yeah, yeah. So they eat outside every time. Yeah, you have your own chef, you have your own people catering you. It's just like, um, cruising down the river or up the river in a fancy, nice, luxurious way. Wow, those yeah. are beautiful. Yeah. They do. They do very, I mean, no engines, so it's very quiet. There's no engines? No engines, yeah. So it's yeah. all, it's yeah. all, sa it's, it's actual sailing. It's an actual sailing, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Oh yeah, look at this, look at the crew. They're like really working. Huh. Very cool. All right. So there's lots of options for getting around uh, yeah, the Nile. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. but you definitely wouldn't want to take a bus or a train or a plane, right? <laughs> no, 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 if you're coming to Egypt, you want to you get out on the, on the river. Okay, all right, well, thank you, Hoda, for, for showing us a little bit about the Nile. Thank you. Uh, and it, it flows the wrong way, right? Yes, it's <laughs> run, uh, south to north. <laughs> south to north, which is a, a confusing thing for many visitors. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk with you through the cabin of our boat so you can kind of see what a, what a more, this is a five-star cruise. And I'm just gonna warn you right now, it's not what we think of as five stars, but it is Egyptian five stars and it's very comfortable. So just so you get an idea, our boat is like um, four stories, something like that. This is the coffee room. And they have, uh, you can come down here for a drink if you want a drink. Uh, they also have entertainment here. Um, they're going to have tonight, I believe, some entertainment. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. People are very nice. The staff are great. This is the Dolphin Cruise. That's the name of our boat is the, the Nile Dolphin. So I'll take you upstairs and you can see the, what the upper deck looks like. It's lunchtime, so I'm going to have to go downstairs for lunch in a minute or two. So here is... The upper deck. They've got some nice chairs, lounge chairs in the sun, and a pool that actually is somewhat legit. I mean, the end over there, it's not big, but it's big enough to actually swim in if you so wish. Here's more of those small boats along the Nile, but you can see the Nile is so fascinating because uh, when you think of the, we talked about this the other day, the Ankh symbol that the pharaohs used. It's the long line with the loop at the top and the cross. It's a symbol of life because it's a symbol of the Nile and the Nile is life in Egypt. Have a look. When you leave the green of the Nile, it's the desert. There's no life there. So pretty much all of Egypt is squeezed along the banks of this river. This river means everything to the Egyptians and it has for the entire history of this country. So, dates, palm, date palms, and all kinds of beautiful vegetation. So let's go back down and I'll give you a little tour of what the rest looks like. Oh, you don't want to see me. Let's see what the cabin looks like. So they're, you know, most of these are kind of old, but they're, they're very clean. Uh, the cleaning staff takes good care. This particular one I have a fondness for because this is the one that we used during the ill-fated COVID cruise that we came on last year and the staff were so gracious and helpful to us. So there's the atrium of our cruise ship and they have a, a silver shop. This guy over here, he makes, uh, let's go peek in and say hello. Hey there. Hey, I just wanted, if you mind, do you mind being on camera? <laughs> could, could you show us about the cartouches and how, how you make them? We make it by hand made in the factory. Yeah. We just put the letters like ancient Egyptian. By yeah. each letter we have, by each name we have letters in yeah. hieroglyphic. So we send it in the factory to make it by hand. Okay. It's taken about one day in the factory. It's a very special one. Something very, very important. Egypt is cartouche. And so they range from about $50 to $200, $300. Actually, like in that. silver, we start from $25. $25? Well, wow, okay. We start from $25. Okay. Up. Go up. Yeah. And this up. is the one I, I bought from you last time here. I think you put this one. It was silver yeah. or silver with gold? It was silver, and I had Luca's name on one side and Nico's name on the other side, which is very pretty. This one here. It was this yes, one, that's it. And yep. the name in the back. Yep, that's what I had made last time. We have it in gold and silver. Cool. And yeah. Many options. 
you special should. price for Sarah. <laughs> You do beautiful work, so thank you so much for doing some such great work. So bracelets they have and necklaces. Everybody that I've always uh, traveled with, that's that's the thing they love most that they bought in Egypt. So kind of a fun thing. So they have a couple of cute little gift shops. Uh, I'm going to take you to show to show you my room now. Yeah, I mean it's it's nice. It's funky, but it's nice. So let's go and see my room now. I'm going to warn you, the staff know that I have a social media channel <laughs> so they gave me a suite which is you know it, it's a little bit bigger than the standard room but actually I loved my standard room last time I might have even liked it better but we'll let's go have a look okay give me a sec to open the door Here we go. hello all right it's dark let's turn on the light so here is my room. I have my little sitting area with my thing of fruit. This is These are my table linens that I bought for myself. Um, they did laundry, they did a very nice job. And you can open this up. So I have a little kind of fainting couch here with a beautiful view. And I love just sitting on the couch or laying in bed and watching the Nile go by. This is just so pleasant. We're going right now from Luxor to Aswan. So it's gonna take, it's, we were sailing all night last night and we're going to sail most of the day today. And here's my bed and look, <laughs> every day they do a different uh, formula, a different uh, sculpture out of towels. Last year we laughed ourselves silly because the towels were so, so elaborate. Um, one day they made a sloth hung from a hanger in front of my door. So I opened up my door and I screamed because I thought it was an animal. Yeah, but it's very sweet. So they do a nice job. Um, the rooms are, yeah, they're very comfortable. Um, they're no, not super frilly, but clean and modern and comfortable. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now that we've seen the room, oh, the bathroom, you probably want to see the bathroom bathrooms are ship bathrooms but these are it's pretty big you know good size I mean it's actually a humane size shower for an enormous person like myself see I'm enormous but I fit all right so now let's head downstairs and you can see oh, did, yeah I took my keys let's take you down to the food hall The staff here are really super kind and so enthusiastic. So tonight they're gonna do an Egyptian dinner and I'm not gonna give it away what they're gonna do to my uh, my guests because my guests on this uh, tour are watching the videos too sometimes, but they, they do, it's like a theme night, right? Gorgeous banks of the Nile as we're going. Okay, let's walk downstairs. You can feel like you are here with me. Okay. So the staff uh, often when we get back from our excursions has uh, towels, like warm, wet towels to wipe our hands. They often have coffee and things like that for us. They had tea this morning. So yeah, pretty ceiling. And the daily schedule. So they have music going um, tonight. We'll see, maybe I'll, I might be able to live stream a little bit of that for you guys as well. Okay. All right, so let's go. And dessert. What do we got today? We've got fish, it looks like. Potatoes, soup. So this is pretty much all the passengers right now. It's lunchtime and as you can see, it's not a lot of people. I would say we have no more than 80 people on this boat right now, probably fewer. People have been pretty good about wearing their masks and staying apart. And the cleaning regimen has been quite good as I have been observing. So that's a little bit about what a Nile cruise ship is like. It's not princess cruises or whatever, but I like it that way. It's good because it also, you know, is a little bit more quaint 
and friendly and it really is a beautiful way to be able to see Egypt uh, so you're able to um, yeah enjoy it at your own pace so yeah Ohoda's mentioning 100 to 150 people on board these boats in any one cruise so not too big by the way they have a masseuse and at three I'm getting a massage so you know it's sort of five-star Egyptian style as Hoda keeps reminding us but what a lovely way to see there's another one of the small capacity luxury ones and this one that you can see next to us is essentially identical to the one that we're on. So that's what it's like to take a Nile cruise. It's great. The food is good. Um, yeah, we're really enjoying it. The staff is lovely and it is small scale and it doesn't feel overwhelming. So while I wouldn't necessarily recommend cruising normally, this is the best way to see Egypt. So live from the uh, MS Nile Dolphin, uh, I'm going to go down and have my lunch now, but more adventures later today. We're going to go to Kam Umbo uh, Temple, and uh, Hoda's going to explain that, so we'll have a little bit for, for you from there later. Okay, see you later.